We head to the European Championships in France next for a precision-based lesson in slalom water skiing. Of the three water skiing disciplines, slalom arguably requires the most physical strength and exact technique. We caught up with two of the sport's top talents to learn what it takes to compete at the highest level. Rhythm, precision, accuracy, it's probably 80% of the job. You have a very, very limited window of opportunity where it's either go home or succeed. It's a very technical sport. It's not a sport where you can just pick it up and then two years later be at the top. The width of the entire slalom course is 23 meters because we, we divide it from the center of the boat path to the buoy where we go around it, that's 11.5 meters. We go around six buoys, we stop, we make the rope shorter, and whoever runs more buoys with the shortest rope wins. So we get to a point where the rope is shorter than the distance from the center to the buoy, so that's why we let go one hand and stretch out with our body and let the ski go around the buoy. You have to be very quick and focused and very prepared to accomplish a, a good score. Starting out on the standard rope length which the top guys will start out on is 13 meters and that's kind of, it's not that hard on the body, we've got to the point where it's actually fairly easy and you wouldn't see many people miss it. You know, I go out and it's kind of like, that's a warm-up pass, that's where we get our body moving, we start feeling the boat. Then every time the, the rope gets shorter, there's more pressure on the body because you're further up on the boat, so the, the pull comes from the side, then you finish the turn and you get a tug. And at that point, it's about keeping your chest up and making sure that you're not being pulled over the front. As soon as you get pulled forward, it's impossible to get to the next buoy. It's really important that the ski, by moving your legs, it's always swinging underneath you. It's never static. It's very dynamic. One centimeter could change everything. Like if the driver is one or ten centimeter on the other side, then you don't get to the buoy or you start the buoy in the turn in a different way that you don't want to. Controlling and maintaining similar racing conditions is of the utmost importance in the slalom event. One condition that varies, however, is the event location. People say, water is water, you ski anywhere in the world, the water is water, it's the same. I was like, eh, not really. Based on the temperature of the water, slow water equals warm water. Colder water will make you ski right faster, so you have to adjust your timing. The depth of the water also, how much, whenever you're turning, we bend the ski and we push on the tail of the ski, how much the water push up. So if there's very little water, there's no much support, so you blow the tail. Too deep water, it's very slow water and very hard water. We normally prefer uh, flat conditions. Our handles, they're a regulation length. Well, everyone tries to get them as long as possible without being out, of course. And people want to get it within a millimetre. The difference between success and failure, you know, you need to get outside of that buoy and then turn. If your handle's a centimetre shorter or you don't get that ski out to that extra centimetre, you might not be able to get around the buoy. It's really, really close. You want to maximise your chances, you want to get out as much as you can. And that's why a lot of us guys that are, that are decent at this sport, we're all tall. It's a whole body sport. You use your legs to stay balanced on the ski and, and to not buckle and, and go forward. And you use your upper body to stay stacked against the boat. If you're over the front, there's no way you're going to get to the next buoy. I think it's a very complete sport because slalom skiing, you use your arms, your legs, your core, your shoulders, your back. That's what we're working on in the winter, in the off season, to get ready for the season by spending a lot of time in the gym and be quick, reactive, strong, and avoid injuries also. You know that if you make one mistake, you're finished. If your ski falls out, it's like it, it's impossible. So you know you're, you're done. You need to have a sort of certain level of aggression where you can get yourself to that maximum point, but not too aggressive where you're where you're turning too hard and your ski falls out of the water.